Look, you've written two great pieces. The first is about the scourge of illegal drug taking that is severely impacting many cities in the Western world. Let's start with Melbourne and its heroin injecting rooms, supported by both major parties and, of course, the ever-reliable Greens when it comes to bad ideas. Have they worked, Lyle? We are told this would close the gap, so to speak. Are all these libertarian promises about drugs making the problem better or worse? Uh, definitely making it worse, uh, Ellie. What we're seeing is the Gothamization of cities across the Western world, particularly in the United States where we've had uh, cannabis legalised. Uh, my son was recently in San Francisco. He said to me, Dad, it's like Gotham after dark here. There are just druggies everywhere on the streets. And of course, in Melbourne now where we've got this so-called medically uh, supervised injecting room in Richmond uh, and then the uh, Andrews government wanting to open a second one in Burke Street, uh, the locals are up in arms because it's not saving lives. It's not stopping the discarding of needles. It's not stopping kids having to step over bodies. Uh, it's making things worse. Uh, and yet there's this misguided compassion that thinks somehow if you can maintain people in their addiction and, and provide a safe place for them to shoot up, that somehow that'll make things better. Uh, the evidence doesn't show that.